I have a makeup man, Van, and uh, he is totally responsible for, he is my face. In the past when I've been interviewed, they always talk about B movies and stuff. It wasn't. It was high fashion. And if you go back to the 60s and uh, look, I mean, the models wore lots of makeup. I said to Van, do something weird with his hair. And I didn't know what. And he got off the plane and took the wig off, and the hair was shaved back like this. And that was the signature look, kind of. And the real reason was that, to give more room for eye makeup. Could you give us some of your political beliefs? Kill everyone now. Condone first-degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat shit. Filth are my politics. Filth is my life. Take whatever you like. Uh. Yes. How's uh. this for a center spread? Uh. Oh. Ew. <laughs> I wanted to keep it divine-esque without recreating the same look everyone else is doing. Ugh. Now 
now I'm gonna fill in my little leopard print, giving you sort of 2010 um, MUA, but you know what? I'm here for it. And then I'm gonna fill in the center with blue. Oh my god, Kat Von D, if you ever need me for a campaign, if you want me on the Artistry Collective, I'm here. But I think the Divine campaign with Kat Von D was so bomb. The only thing I would have loved, like, for there to be that representation, because Divine was a woman of size. If I fuck this up, it's gonna get all muddy. If we're talking about the significance of Kat Von D sending me this collection, just like amazing in high school. The only thing that kept me going was knowing I can get new Study Kiss lipstick every couple weeks. I own almost all of the original shades of them. They just meant a lot to me. All my first posts on Instagram were trying to get Kat Von D Beauty to notice me and like through everything, I just really am a big fan of their brand. They really are about artistry. A lot of these brands are like foo-foo forcing one look of beauty or, you know, makeup artistry on us. Whereas Kat Von D Beauty is like for everyone. She's for the children. But yeah, thank you Kat. So now on the same little brush, pray it works out. I'm gonna take waters. That's cute. I'm really feeling how this turned out. Let's hope it's worthy of a Kat Von D Beauty repost. And let me tell you, I've heard a lot of critiques about this palette and I'm gonna be real with you. This palette, originally when I first saw it, I think I was just really for, I think it's like $50. I was just gonna get the lipstick just because it, it looked like basic colors to me really. For a Divine palette, I would have expected a little bit more variety of color because um, she definitely used more than just a pop of blue and you know just like silver and neutrals, you know what I mean? If you're wondering about the shape of the palette, it's exactly the same as my Pastel Goth and in my Pastel Goth, my most loved eyeshadow was that white one. I think it's, it's called Skull. I ran out of that just a few months ago. Very sad, but the thing is, this comes with that beautiful white, which I love from Kat Von D, and that blue is amazing. Um, I'm not one for like shimmers, really, but I found a way to make that green really pop. I put a Lime Crime liquid lipstick under it. If you don't have that base, maybe check out NYX has some bases. I know Kat Von D is coming out with some bases or colored pomade type of things, I'm not sure. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with this palette, but if you're not a Divine fan and if you're not looking to just collect, I definitely see, you know, you can just pass it up. It's gorgeous packaging. But yeah, I have used this probably a couple times because I tell you, it takes me a few times to get it right when I'm trying to film. These lights give me headaches sometimes, so I just can't deal. I feel like the Pastel Goth shadows have such a nice texture, like they cling to my base. Um, it like will cling and stick to it so beautifully, like and smooth. And this Divine palette has that same consistency of just being so smooth and like, just like really grabs on to your base really beautifully. So yeah, these are nice shadows. This is so hard to do on the opposite side. I don't normally drink coffee, but I drank some and I'm feeling incredible. enjoyed. I painted a water gun from Walmart for this. She's strapped. If you like this look in the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and yeah. I hope you all are well, and I'll see you all next time. All I can say is I wish he was here making movies with me still, but he's not, and I know that, but at least he's there in all those movies forever.